Where's Ro? Lou Gehrig. Babe Ruth. But why would you trade? That one's all chewed up. I got a lot of good stuff. Look at that stuff. Besides, you need it more than I do. All right, here's the next part in uh, my national experience from 2024. Uh, it's legends never die, or neither will you if you know Jesus. Today, I'll be sharing uh, the vintage pickups uh, from baseball. If you watched my first video of basketball and you made it through and still clicked on this video, thank you, because uh, I know most of you are baseball collectors. Wanted to share a few things, tell a few short stories, and uh, just to continue to reflect on the great memories that I made at the show. First, <laughs> shout out to the Drew of Vintage Legacy. If you know, you know. There are five 1978 Topps cards in here. Uh, the, or excuse me, four. I spent five dollars on them. These were the last four cards I needed to complete my 1978 Topps set. Uh, it was one of my Miniature goals that I wanted to complete that set while at the National uh, after Cobb. And wanted to share that with you guys, uh, that I did accomplish that. One of my other small goals was to complete the 1954 Redman set. And I went in needing just one card. It was a Hall of Famer. And I was able to find one. Uh, Richie Ashburn. 1954 Redman. So... I was excited to complete that set. I love my Red Mans. I actually bought over a hundred of them at the show. Uh, some will stay with me and some won't. This next card, uh, it is something I did not expect to pick up. Some of the most fun things about the National can be getting those cards and items that you didn't plan on. And this one is special because it was uh, purchased from a friend over at Sammy Thunder and it's a 1954 New York American Journal. This is a Hoyt Wilhelm. Dom over at Staven Sports Card will be very proud. This is going to be a Hall of Fame type card. They have the uh, home schedule of the team on the back. They're all New York teams. Giants, Yankees, Dodgers at the time, in Brooklyn. I'm not doing the set, Dom. I'm just getting this card. And I got it from Sammy, and that makes him a true hobby hero. Put him in the back there. Now next, I'm going to show you some T206 pickups. This next card also was from Sammy. It's a Ted Breitenstein T206. And if you don't know anything about the set, this is a Southern Leaguer. Uh, the teams and players uh, on those teams that played in the Southern Leagues at the time uh, were tougher pulls, uh, were tougher to get for the T206 set. And this was my first uh, Southern League Old Mill back. So I'm excited about that. Uh, thanks to Sammy uh, for again, allowing me to pick that up from him. Uh, now this next card I purchased, uh, next two cards I purchased from Bill Chapel. A dealer that I met for the first time but heard a lot about. This is a Casey. And this is also one of my first. Uh, this is a regular old mill back. First one of those that I have for my set. So cool to pick up a couple off backs for my collection. We've got an Elmer Flick. This is a Hall of Famer. Also picked up from Bill Chapel. Always cool to pick up a Playing Days Hall of Famer from the T206 set. And it was kind of cool to pick up a Cleveland Hall of Famer at the Cleveland National. Wasn't intentional, but was pretty cool. It's a 150 Subjects Piedmont back. Very cool. Let's put him in front of Mr. Casey back there. This last common was uh, Stoney McGlynn from uh, Milwaukee. Pick that up in a deal uh, with the Pete Maravich rookie, believe it or not, uh, in my prior national video. It's a Piedmont back, 350 subjects. I'll set him down right there. Got a few more. Now, those stands in the back, they were custom made by the Drew Vintage Legacy for me. They hold 
you know, regular top loaders, card saver ones, because I like raw cards. But these th front three stands were the standard ones that hold slabs. Yes, I did purchase some slabs. And I'm just going to show you guys two more. Uh, I have a separate video I'm going to release for the other one. Uh, but this, this next card was purchased uh, from someone at the YouTube get-together. Uh, I apologize. I do not remember his name. I met a ton of people. He was really cool. Had some great stuff. Uh, but this is a, a T206 Fred Snodgrass catching. And it is a Piedmont 350 460 subjects. Very cool. So let's put him over there. And now next, this is this is a cool story. This is not something I intended to pick up at the National, even though I do need one for my T206 set. Uh, it's not a Hall of Famer, but it is a bigger name for the set. And I'll explain. But this is a John Titus. And the reason this card is popular, more popular than a common, really about four times more expensive than your average common in this condition, is he is the only player in the set depicted with a mustache. And now what, what made this a really special pickup is that this card has a common, I don't talk about prices a ton, but for this story it's relevant, this card is a common in this condition, goes for about 200 bucks. And I purchased this card for $180. Why am I so excited about that? Well, number one, it's great to get deals on T206s. It doesn't happen too, too often. Uh, they hold their value pretty strongly. But this isn't just a John Titus. And you may have figured it out already based on the flip. But this is an old mill back John Titus. Which makes this about a $350 to $400 card. When I showed Ryan Breakout Cards, uh, who I met uh, on the show floor and then showed him this in an event we were at on Friday night, he was shocked. <laughs> so that made me feel even better about this purchase. Now, there's an obvious hole there missing. And there's one card I went to the National to see. But I'm going to save that for its own video. It deserves its own video. So tune in for the next one. Trust me, it will be worth it. Thank you guys for coming along this time. Keep collecting, and God bless.